here we're on site with a galvanized transmission tower that you see everywhere in the world. They're all using the same type of, of structure. Uh, this tower, uh, we're not sure of the age, but it's already starting to show how the galvanization is worn away. So here we see it good, but right here you can see it's starting to that point where it's starting to get rusty. So right now, this can be preserved. There is no prep work needed other than cleaning. Where if it goes a little bit further than this, we start to see that rust. Uh, and then eventually this tower can come down. So I want to show you how to clean it first. So we have no rust. It's super easy with our step one cleaner. This is a high pH cleaner. No solvent, no acetone. And I want, to, want you to see how this rag is perfectly clean. Just spray a little bit on the surface like that. Then we remove the dirt. We need to get the dirt and oil off, off first so that we get a good bond. That is the whole process of prep. Now if you have loose scale, you do need to wire brush that off, but there's no scale issues here. Get the tower clean. Okay. Now what we're going to do, it's very simple. The best way to do this tower is with a low nap roller. So this is a quarter inch nap on a four inch wide roller. The reason this is so good is because it's the exact size of the typical tower. So all you would do is roll like this. You don't have these great big surfaces. The second item you need is a two inch paintbrush. And the reason you need the two inch brush is because you get around these rivets and bolts. Okay? It's exactly how we did other bridges and so forth. These two items, that's all you need. And typically, all we're going to do is I'll show you on this other tower, because we want this to dry. Take our product. We're going to have an easy, spour, easy pour spout. You can just pour directly from the can. Of course, on a project like this, you would be using five gallon buckets typically, or, or whatever size you want. What I recommend is that you pour it into a bucket that can be held by a rope as the person's working his way from the top to the bottom, coating it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour this into this bucket. Clear. It's a clear liquid. Depending on the humidity and the temperature, sometimes it'll appear amber or a little bit of a rose color. It's not a problem with the material. It's just the effect of heat and temperature on the product. It'll still go on the surface clear. So all I'm going to do is just dip this in. And then just apply it, just wet the surface like this. Because it's wet, you can see how that goes. You can get almost all of it. It's very thin, so it spreads very easily. You want to get all the surfaces. You can see it go on. There is a, a little color change, so it's easy to see. You can see how fast this goes. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's dry in about two to three hours.
the other thing I want to show you is that we talked about the concrete. So we're adjacent to salt water right here. And this tower from toppling over is in this concrete anchor. I want you to see how porous the concrete has become. And this is from the chloride ion penetration of the salt air. So originally when this concrete was poured, it was smooth. Now the grain is opening up. And we just, we discussed earlier, that becomes that fast track for moisture to get in there faster. There's steel structural rebar within this and J-bolts holding this, this anchor down. So this goes down into the concrete, has a J-hook in it that's tied to rebar. Right now what's happening, we can't see it, but all that steel in here is corroding away and at one point it's going to fail. If this anchor fails and there's a windstorm, this tower is going over. Get the concrete clean. See that? So we're getting the grease and slime, grime off the concrete. We removed quite a bit of dirt there, all these spots right here. Rinse it clean with water, but you can see how what an amazing cleaner this is. We talked about the critical nature of keeping the anchors in proper performing levels without them disintegrating. So what we have here, I've, I've poured our concrete coat, goes down the same way. Uh, we want to put on our a sealer on there first so all the concrete coat doesn't absorb into the concrete. Uh, so we have our quick seal and enhance, which is dry right away. It'll give it a little bit of enhancement. And then we're just going to come over with the concrete coat. And this is all we have to do. The nice thing about this product is that it's super easy to apply. So if you can roll, you can use this material. And that's it. So you go over the whole surface. It's going to be a little lighter than this, but it's going to give it an overall darker appearance. And now, the bird droppings, the salt air, pollution, graffiti, all of that won't stick to this. And now this space.